Hey vegan hearts! In today's video, I want to talk about pain management, how I dealt with sciatica. So I was suffering from sciatica for over a year, like almost one and a half years. And if you are suffering from pain, this might help you. So the first thing that I um, experienced was, was what was really helpful is I started with, again, with a mindset change. So I started telling myself because I was like, I could have been very desperate at that moment, given up because the pain was really, really bad. Um, I was moving practically scared of pain. Um, the pain came in the form of shocks, like electrical shocks, totally unpredictable. And pain is just exhausting. It, it drains you. It makes, it made me feel very anxious. And yeah, it just exhausted me. And I knew I couldn't wait. So the number one lesson I learned is you cannot wait your chronic pain out. That did not work for me and it won't work for you. Um, the number one thing, what I started talking, what I started telling myself every day, after I had this, it was like sort of a revelation um, that I suddenly knew, okay, you cannot wait it out. It won't go away just by itself, just like that. You have to do something. Okay, I started t telling myself every day, I can heal myself. I can heal myself. And especially if, you know, from the people around me came this advice of, I don't know, what people know about health and stuff like that. I knew deep inside that I caused this problem. This wasn't a matter of medication or operation or something. Now I know that my muscles got very, very tight. And I also knew all the time that the inflammation that caused the tightness of the muscles, because when you have deep in the hip joint, I had this inflammation. This all started, this whole problem that I had started because of my vegan diet. Not because my vegan diet caused the problem, but because my vegan diet caused a healing process. And I'm pretty sure that it all is, was linked together. So I sticked to my vegan diet. That is the second. That is very important too. So what I'm telling you now is all on the foundation of a vegan diet of a high carb, low fat vegan diet. So the first thing that I did was changing my mindset. I was telling myself all the time, I believe I can heal myself. Um, the second thing is after that, I discovered things. So I discovered, for example, Dr. Morse on YouTube. And what I did, was starting drinking lots of lemon juice after I watched his videos. That helped so, so much with this terrible electrical pain. It was just a relief. It wasn't the solution, but it was at the moment of the highest pain, of where the pain was about to crush me, I started drinking lots of lemon juice. And I remember that I went to the store, um, well, I used um, a random stick that I found at home and I had to use that stick to get to the store and buy the lemon juice. It was so bad, it was really bad. 
um, terrible pain. All right. So that helped with this electrical pain. When I would compare this pain with with a voice, I would say this pain were unexpected shrieks, which we really were terrible. And okay, one thing is mindset. Told myself every all the time, like one thousand times a day. I told myself, I can heal myself. I can heal myself. I believe I can heal myself. The second thing was lemon juice, lemon juice, lemon juice. Um, and again, on the foundation of a vegan diet, um, I stopped eating oils and salt. I was still eating all oil and salt. And oil is um, causes inflammation in the body, or it can cause it damages your arteries so I stopped using the oils I was I knew about these health experts who are telling us to stop eating oil who are telling us to stop eating salt but I was still I, I was still way yeah but I eat so well I eat so well I never ate before I still have some oil and salt it's okay so I stopped eating that and again that I felt like this was a good idea and I felt better. But still, the pain was still there. I could handle it better with these three things. Um, mindset, so I can heal myself. Um, lemon juice and oil and salt. All right, that helped. But what really made the difference, what really made the difference, what really made the shift to being pain-free again was a daily yoga practice and in the beginning I was in so much pain um, so I know that my tight muscles caused my the pelvic tilt that I have all my life became deeper and deeper and deeper I remember when I was laying on my back I, it felt so uncomfortable. It felt like my hip bone was like in a 45 degree angle to the floor. It was very, very uncomfortable. And in this, the time I started my yoga practice, um, every move could cause these electrical shocks. So the nerve was definitely pinched or touched. And I didn't, I would never know what move would cause it. And now the question was, okay, how do I do it? All right. So I was always uh, holding onto something, a chair, a table, uh, a cupboard, anything to secure myself. Because these shocks were like, of course, um, get me out of balance and when I talk about pain, I'm not only talking about this electrical pain, I also talk about inflammation. My whole hip eventually was inflamed. I had to avoid to fall on this hip. Once it happened accidentally, somebody, uh, I think, shoved me. Pain, pain, pain. Ah, I was like crying afterwards. I had to cry to cope with the pain. It was so bad. Um, all right, uh, yeah, so how to do it? All right, I was constantly holding on to something, moving very slowly. And what, I, what also is a good tip when you have chronic pain, you start a yoga practice is, um, for example, there, were, there are things I could go into the pose at a point I could go into it but I wouldn't come out because while doing it or while getting into it I would have severe crampings and still I was afraid of these electrical shocks so I didn't know I was like locked in the pose so how to come out and this is like you you move you shuffle your feet on the floor for example if you are if your feet are like this and then you, you shuffle your feet closer together or the hands. You no, know, I was like making moves like this, um, you know, to get back up. Or I was like 
pulling myself um, with the help of a cupboard or something to get out of the pose. And everything took very, very long. This is why I started out with staying in a pose for 200 breaths because I just had to, all right? Once I needed, uh, I was like, I think in a sitting position or on my knees and I need like seven, over seven minutes to get on my back for, for this resting pose at the end of a yoga practice, which is called Shavasana. I had, it took me seven minutes to get from a sitting position, maybe Indian style, to get on my back over seven minutes. This is how scared I was, how slowly I moved. All right, um, okay, again, mindset, I believe I can heal myself, lemon juice, um, no oil and no salt, vegan diet. Uh, again, also, what I remember something in lots of water, drink three liters of water a day, and a daily yoga practice. That will help with sciatic pain. If the sciatic pain is caused by an excessive pelvic tilt, which is caused by tight muscles. All right, I'm going to finish up uh, this video with a request and I ask you, go vegan. Veganize it, veganize your mind, veganize your heart, veganize the world. Bye.